So welcome to case study number two. We will be talking about cumin production. And the first thing, if you recall, is to choose the unit. Since we are using Fahrenheit and the other pressure is PSI and Palmos, I will recommend to use the English units. So once we have English units, reporting options, okay. We go to components. So we need to specify those. Benzene is going to react with propylene and we're going to be producing cumin. So here it is, benzene, propylene and isopropyl benzene. Now, after this, time to go to methods. We go to specification methods. We're going to use the Suave Quang Redlich, Redlich Quang. And yeah, eventually you need to run this in order to get all the parameters and we're set to go to the next environment, which is simulation. So we click next and take out all these little tabs so we don't confuse. Now we got this flow sheet. You recall we have a feed is going inside this reactor, which is going to be reacting, and the outlet of the reactor must be cooled down because it's going to be high. There, this is an exothermic reaction, so we're going to expect a high temperature. So we cool it to 130 Fahrenheit. Then we cool, once it's cool, we separate this in a flash drum, which is, of course, adiabatical, and the, all the vapors go back to the recycle in order to increase conversion. And the outlet will be our product. But essentially, the questions that we should be wondering is what will be the final temperature or the operation temperature of the reactor, since with this given conversion, what will be the heat duty of this uh, heat, un uh, heat exchanger unit and what is the relationship between or the ratio between recycle and product and of course the most important one will be what is the final composition of our product so let's give it a try we start with the feed which is right here input must be 220 Fahrenheit and 36 PSI absolute the total mole basis is 80 pound mole per hour, so since it is 50% benzene and 50% propylene, we gotta split that. So once we get this, we must go to the reactor. So the reactor is essentially, we're going to operate it at vacuum, so we can choose zero PSI, which is nearly absolute zero. And the heat duty is going to be a diabatic reactor, meaning that we are not going to provide energy or heating. So we just need to state pressure and heat duty. Now we need to add this reaction, which is benzene plus propylene. The ratio is one to one, and it's going to produce one mole of fumin. So ratio is also one. So one, one, one. We have a fractional conversion of 90% with respect of either benzene or propylene. So in this case, it's okay if we choose benzene or propylene because we have no limiting reactant. But if we have a limiting reactant, then we will have to adapt this fractional conversion to that limiting reactant. Now, the next, we're going to have this product, which we do not know it, but we're going to cool it. We're going to cool it at 130 Fahrenheit. That's imperative, it says on the problem statement. And it is actually lower than the vacuum. So once we have that, we have the product right here and we're going to operate it and separate it in this flash drum. Flash drum must be stated the pressure is going to be one atmosphere. So in order to flash it, we need to increase the pressure and heat duty typically is zero because it's a flash. So we don't need, we don't need to add it. We're just going to leave this product to state the vapor equilibrium and liquid equilibrium, all the vapor is going to go through the recycle and be sure to connect it once again to the reactor. So instead of just throwing it away or burning it, you just bring it up here and you will increase conversion very drastically. I mean conversion not, not of the reactor but of the overall process. And then this operator is going to have this product line. So we are set once you're done with that we can run the simulation. So we run the simulation and it's already run. 
results are available. So let me just check out, for instance, the first question was the temperature of the reactor. So we didn't state any temperature. Let's check out the results. And the outlet temperature will be 857 Fahrenheit. So if you are working with your sheet, you must add it to the sheet. Now, well, let's just take a curious uh, view to the result outlet. So you have two thermal, four thermal cumin. Okay, this is funny because it's already including all the recycles, so it's kind of like cyclic. We have this, 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 and then we separated this and it's going back. So that's why it doesn't make any sense to compare this with the previous data or the only data of the feed. So as you can see, we have a lot of cumin, so that's funny. Let's check out how much cumin do we have. We have 86% of cumin, 9% of propylene, and 4% of benzene. So what it does this mean is that we have a very large recycle rate, meaning that we have a lot of production, we cool it down, we flash it, and a lot of cumin is going to come here, and having this high cumin recycle will probably make us a better product line. Let's check out the heat duty of our cooler, the two per hour, so it's about minus 2.5 times 10 to the 6th, meaning that we are cooling. So yeah, this is our heat duty. You want to write it maybe in your sheet or answer sheet. Now cool out, well, we'll have of course the same composition. Now we take it here to the separator and let's see what happens here. So, let's see, it's the results, temperature, well, of course, it's the same we stated, pressure is the same we stated, heat duty is zero. And we want to check out how much is the recycle in total mole flow. So it's 2.37 pound mole per hour. Compare it now versus the final product here. The final product is... Where is the total flow rate? 41.9 pound mole. So the final amount of product is 41.97 pound mole. And let me tell you that it makes a lot of sense, guys, because we have one to one ratio. So 40 pound moles plus 40 pound moles will react to form 40 pound moles. So one one reacts to form one. So it must be pretty near to this one right here. So what else I wanted to show you? If you want to do a mass balance, you will see that kilograms going in are the same that kilograms going out in the product line. So we are done. We have the... Also, we wanted to check... Wait for it. We have plenty of tabs right here. Let me take them away so it's easier for us to... Oops. Let me just... It. Okay, we want to see the product, we want to see the composition, not only the amount. So we have 90% of cumin, which is very, very high, and it's probably what we wanted. We, depending on the product composition or, or the specifications of our product, we will probably need to separate this via distillation or any other process. But 90% is already very, very good. So that was our example. We have all the data we are required. Te final temperature, heat duty, ratios, which is 1 to almost 40, and the composition. So that's about the results. So recall we are also asked, we would like to know if we, let's take away that recycle. So let's take it away, reconnect destination. So instead of making the recycle, what will happen if we just do this? So, for instance, it will be the most obvious thing to do. The recycle, you eventually have a stream in which you burn anything, everything, sorry. So let's see what happens. We are going to compare temperature, heat duty, and of course the final product. So let's run this. Hopefully there are no errors. Okay, no warnings, no errors, so that's awesome. Let's go back and check, for instance, this right here. 
final temperature is very similar 844 Fahrenheit okay heat duty should be definitely less because we are not cooling the recycled so actually yeah it's right here now the final product which is the one I'm pretty interested let's see how much is this so we are producing pretty similar amount but the thing here guys is that we are producing only 85% of cumin so because we don't have recycle we are losing that 5% of pur uh, purity which of course depends on probably probably you say you will take out let's see how much we are losing here results so we are losing about 0.04 pounds per hour of cumin and it may not sound that much but this per hour per day will be 24 times that so it's about 0.1 and let's say after one year which is 300 it's about 300 pounds more and that's about one ton so you're losing nearly between one to two three tons of material just because you are not recycling so that will be essentially the comparison you need to do is you should definitely connect this recycle so you can run it let's run it you will see that this improves one second to 90 percent 91 percent so you will definitely want to make this recycle and that's all i wanted to show you in the in this right here you want to see detailed information you can check out in the course all the values all the numbers or also in the presentation I show you the diagram I show you each date the specific data so this is everything for study case number two see you in the next case